Raise your hand if you know what garbage is. And no, that's not a trick question. Just basic trash. Okay, I'm glad. However, I'm not here to talk about actual trash. I'm here to talk about the card game trash, also called garbage. Now, my aunt taught this to me and all of my cousins, and while none of my cousins particularly enjoyed the game, I have really loved it since. So today, I will be showing you how to prepare, play, and finish a game of garbage. And after learning how to do this, you will know how to play one of the most interesting card games I know. For the first step of playing garbage, you shuffle and lay out your cards. However, typically you would use 10 cards for each player. I have chosen to use five for the sake of demonstration, but you would usually have two rows of five cards. Now, it's important to know your card functions. Your king is a wild card and can be moved wherever you would like, while your queen and your jack are useless and would end your turn. And after you've laid out your cards, you can start playing. For your second step, you will actually play the game. The person who did not shuffle will pick up a card and place it in its corresponding place. I went ahead and did that. However, I drew a queen, so I was not able to make a play. The next player drew a king and placed it in the two place. However, they then uncovered a four, which was then placed in the corresponding four place. However, after that, an eight was discovered under the four, and that ended my turn because the eight was not able to be played. Now the other player now has the choice to either pick up my discarded card or to draw a new one. So the next player drew a six and cannot make a move. I drew a 10 and was also not able to make a move. Now, I got another six, so this was a really unlucky hand. And I got an ace, which I placed in the corresponding ace place. And that revealed a jack, which I placed in the discard pile. The next player uncovered a three, which they placed in their three place, but they also had a three under there, so they would have been safe even if they did not get that three. I took that three and also had a three under my three place. <laughs> a very lucky hand. A 10 was discovered by the next player under their two spot, which they drew. So they were able to add a two to their top deck. I drew an ace which also revealed an ace under my ace, which was incredibly lucky. I was quite astounded by this. And the other player makes the choice to take that ace and reveal the jack that was under it. I took that five and placed it. I did not take that five. There was a two that was revealed, and I put that in my two place. And because the king was there, I was able to take that king that was originally in the two place and move it to the king place the fifth place. Now, I was lucky enough to have a five under there, which I had to place in the discard pile because I could not use it. I have a full set and have won the round. However, the next player has one more round to try to win as well. They pick up the five, however, they reveal an eight. If they had revealed a four, they would have also won. Now, because their round is over, they have to reveal their final card, which was a five. Therefore, I am the winner of this round, and I will now have only four cards. Every time that there is a winner of a round, you will decrease by one card. For this demonstration, I would have had four cards, but in a real game, you will have none. So, in short, when you're, after learning how to prepare, play, and finish a game of garbage, you will know how to play one of the most interesting card games I know. And once you understand, how to lay out your cards in two rows of 10, you will know how to start your game. You will learn to switch your cards by placing the numerical cards in their corresponding place, and you will know how the face cards can be played. And now, you will know how to finish your game. And I hope that after you've learned this, you and your loved ones can enjoy this as much as me and mine do.